All right, so here we're going to be looking at the parabola given by this quadratic equation here. We do need to look at the coefficients. The a is negative 1, the b is 4, and the c is a negative 3. Since the leading coefficient is a negative number, the parabola opens down, and it has a top to it, or a maximum. The maximum is the vertex. To find the x value of the vertex, we're going to use negative b over 2a. The b is 4, the a is negative 1. Let's replace those values here. So negative 4 over 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Divide negative 4 divided by negative 2 makes a positive 2. So the x value of the vertex is 2. To find the y, we're going to use our original equation. And instead of the x's, we're going to replace those with what x is equal to on the vertex, and that's 2. So negative 2 squared is negative 4. 4 times 2, 8. Minus 3, minus 3. And then continue simplifying. 8 minus 4 minus 3 makes a positive 1. So our value for the vertex, 2 comma 1. Now for the y-intercept, the x value on the y-axis is 0. So we're going to take our original equation and replace the x's with a 0. So 0 squared, 0 plus 0 minus 3 makes a negative 3, which is the same as the c value there. Go ahead and check out these other videos. The top one is how to find x-intercepts by factoring. The bottom one is on graphing.